Hello team. In this session, we will learn to create a material requisition for the subcontractor. To do that we need to first select the name of the subcontractor under the Contractor tab. Then under the Project tab, we need to select the name of the project. Next, under the Header fields, we need to click on the chain icon in front of MTO number to get the MTO for the selected project. Here we need to select the MTO document number and click on Next. By clicking on Next, we will get the list of all the material items in the MTO. Here, we need to select the applicable item. We need to request for and adjust the requisition quantity under the Adjust column if required. Next, we need to click on Append. On appending the work area, where the materials are to be required for execution, will get auto-updated. Under the Location tab along with the details of the item in the Details table, we need to input the date on which the item will be required for execution. Under the Required by Date column, Under the Stock Quantity column, we will get to know the total quantity of the required item. To get location-wise details, we need to click on View Stock Details icon. Once all the required details are updated, we need to click on Save and Exit button to save the transaction in the ERP system. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. 